Hello, everyone. Today to teach you to upgrade Mazda 3 Xila. This car's original car screen function is very little. We are ready to upgrade it to the Android system. This is what we look like after the upgrade. The screen has become larger and rich in features. Support various CarPlay Android Auto. You can use voice assistant. Make phone calls, listen to music, use online maps, and more. So you want to know how to upgrade? Please follow the video. Ready to start disassembly? Let's talk about the steps first. First open the air outlet, and then remove the original car screen. To begin disassembly, we use plastic tools to pry. Open the air outlet panel. We pry from the right to the left. Loosen the inside buckle. And then the air outlet panel can be easily taken out. After taking it out and looking at it, there is only a white plug on the back. We press the button on the plug to pull it out. After removing the air outlet, we can see that the original car screen frame only has one screw fixed. We can remove it on the line. Be careful not to drop the screws when they come out. Then we pull the screen out in front of us with both hands. Also, unplug all the back of it. We hold down the pin on the plug and push it down, then pull it out. After taking it off, we observed that it had five white clasps, and we removed them all. Then attach it to our new screen plastic base. Now connect the new power card. First we connect the canvas box. Then we connect the radio lines. Then connect the original car USB cable. Connect the small white plug. Then connect the red plug to the large white plug. Now we're going to install the no screen plastic base. We need to reserve these plugs here. Now let's connect the cable on the back of the screen. This is the cam cable and the USB cable. This is the RC line. This is a quad G antenna, he's got two. This is a GPS antenna. Connect the radio head on the no power supply to the no screen. Connect the original car USB to the screen. Connect the communication serial cable. Connect the cam cable of the no power supply to the cam input cable on the back of the screen. Connect the CD audio output of the new power supply to the RCA online AUX output. Finally, we connect the black screen power plug. Now we align the clip on the back of the screen with the slot on the base and then press down to fix it. We will now reattach the back plug of the air outlet panel. Then align the red clip of the air outlet with the slot of the base clip, and press the air outlet in.
OK, it's installed. Let's fire it up. Good. The Buddhist bus is very fast. Since this car needs a campus box, we also need to set up the campus. We enter settings, factory settings, enter password, campus settings, select campus brand, select model brand, select corresponding model here. Click OK to update. Note that the update settings require a Wi-Fi connection. When the campus box is updated, it can keep the CD player playing music. Similarly, you can use the steering wheel buttons to control the sound level and switch. Of course, you can also adjust the sound tone and the volume of the car's individual speakers to your liking. Support Dark Remander In addition, it retains the most control of the original car, and all key functions work correctly. When you're not driving, you can watch your favorite movies here. Support map navigation. You can also download other map software. Support the original car reversing image. The picture is very clear. You can automatically search for your favorite radio channel. Can make Bluetooth phone calls by touching the screen. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching.